Hi everybody, it's Kev here. Welcome to day number three of the Prostate Health Challenge. Wow, the first two days had some really great feedback, uh, some great questions. Seems like everyone's really getting involved with it and really giving it a go. So well done. The first day, of course, was all about the food you're eating, trying to get off the meat and dairy uh, and alcohol as well. Get off the alcohol for a month. It will do you the world of good if you can. And of course, um, exercise really important as well. Be out there moving your body getting the body moving. Uh, day two, of course, was about meditation and fasting and just how much they are intertwined, those two things, the meditation and the fasting go sort of hand in hand. And one thing somebody mentioned to me yesterday about the fasting as well, it's great for fixing up your inflammation. Now, I have a lot of turmeric with my juices and also my smoothies. I even put it in my porridge, a bit of turmeric, um, always add some um, some ground up black pepper and a little bit of coconut oil just to help it to get into the blood and make sure it does actually go to those areas but great for inflammation let's be honest an, an enlarged prostate is caused by inflammation so if you're getting some turmeric into you that's a really great thing to be doing and the fasting is really good for inflammation as well as getting your body um, to rest and not be digesting as much food and letting it heal basically so that was the first uh, two days and uh, you guys are going great as I say had some great feedback so uh, thank you all for that day three yes day three which is all about fresh air and sunshine now that may sound you know not all that exciting but trust me it is if you're stuck at home all day uh, you're not very active you're not getting lots of fresh air then that can really affect your body and especially if you're inside and there's lots of fumes or whatever your body is just breathing in toxins all the time and you don't want that you want to be getting out going for walks going for runs going for swims all that kind of thing really important for your body plus it's it's helping you move your body as well by your walking that's all part of your exercise and getting that fresh air if you can get down by a beach or a river or a mountain they're the three things i highly recommend um, i know it's hard if you live somewhere where you don't have those things but if you do, then get out and just do some walking. Breathe in that fresh air. That fresh air goes into your lungs and it really does start to heal all those dead cells that are just sitting there just withering away, basically. And if you're at home just breathing in this normal, you know, stuffy kind of air in your house all the time, that does affect your cells. And that in turn, of course, will affect your prostate. It has to. So get out, move your body, like I say, you know, the mountains, a river, the ocean, great places to go just to get out, just breathe in that fresh air. If you can do that every day, it's going to do amazing things for your body. It really is. And sunshine, the second thing. Wow, sunshine, you know, you hear a lot of in the newspapers, in the media, that, you know, the sun is bad for you. That's just total garbage. The sun is the best thing for you. If you're out there for an hour and it's like 40 degrees, well, obviously it's not going to be good for your body. You're going to burn. And that's not good. You don't want that. But 20 minutes a day in the sun, that vitamin D, and the only way to get vitamin D is through your tummy. That's the best way to, that's how your body absorbs it, is through the sun and through your tummy. That's, that's the best and most absorbing place for vitamin D is in your tummy. So if you can get out, I know in some places all over in, um, I guess in Europe and the US, it's coming up to summer over there now. It's coming into winter in Australia here. So it's a bit cooler. But I live in Melbourne. It's a very cold place in winter, but there's still sunshine. I still get out in the sunshine. I go do my runs, all that kind of thing. So it's important to get out and get that sun on your body. 20, 30 minutes a day, especially in winter, is great. In summer, maybe 20 minutes might be the maximum. Don't get yourself burnt. You know, people who have trouble with the sun are those that go out and just sunbake out for hours and hours and they burn their skin. That's eventually going to cause you issues. But in fact, the worst thing for your skin is the, um, the sunscreen. That, that's what causes a lot of cancers is the sunscreen because of the chemicals in it. But the actual sun itself is fantastic. Never let anybody tell you that the sun is bad for you because the sun is where you get your vitamin D from. It's the only place to get natural vitamin D. The sun is your friend. It is not an enemy, for goodness sakes. It's just this amazing ball of heat that keeps us alive as well. So um, fresh air, sunshine. Like I say, get out and really take in those those rays of sun. Get out and just 
Another great thing to do is just go for walks in parks. Look at trees, look at flowers. You can even meditate while you're walking. I do it when I'm running. I go through these beautiful parks with these beautiful trees and rivers. And it's just, um, you just feel great. When you're breathing in that fresh air, you've got the sun beating down on you and you're in a beautiful part of nature. You're out in nature. And we all have nature around us somewhere. I know some people live in the big cities and I get that, but there's still parks around somewhere. So go out and start utilizing the land that's around you. And as I say, go to mountains, go to lakes, go to the ocean when you can and just breathe in that fresh air. There is nothing better for your body. And this isn't just for your prostate, this is for your overall health. But it is really good for your prostate to get that fresh air in, get that sunshine, that vitamin D, which is really great for your body. Uh, your prostate loves vitamin D. So get that in there by getting out into the fresh air and the sunshine. Really, really important. So hope your challenge is going well. I'd love to hear how you're going and if you're really making an effort with the food and with the exercise, uh, the meditation. So make sure you're doing all this stuff. This is going to help you to heal your prostate. It really will. This is all the stuff that I did and still do. It's sort of you know, eight, nine years now after I was uh, first diagnosed. And you keep doing it. It becomes a lifestyle. And your body just loves you for it. So keep doing it really really important um, thanks again for watching thanks for being part of it um, if you are watching on YouTube please don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon so you can get all our videos as soon as they go up and uh, if you're watching on Facebook don't forget to leave a comment down below any questions let me know how you're going I really am interested to hear how you guys are going with this so thanks again for watching today guys really appreciate it keep doing it uh, your body's gonna feel better I promise you if you keep doing these uh, these eight principles of health that we're going through over these days. And uh, tomorrow I'll have two more for you. And then of course we've got day five. That's the, the final day um, of the challenge, but the challenge does continue for the whole 30 days. And I'll, I'll still be doing some lives um, intermittently throughout the 30 days to see how you're going. So thanks again, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a fantastic day or night, wherever you are, and keep doing the challenge. Like I say, your body will love you for it. Okay, take care.